Man, I hate shooting videos twice because of bad batteries. Batteries. Okay. <laughs> I got some people wanting to uh, wanting to know how to hook up a battery capacitor, a battery cap. Um, my honest opinion is I don't like battery caps, and I found that a lot of people in car audio agree. Not everybody, but a lot of them. Um, one reason I say being uh, they're kind of expensive, and you can just get another battery. Um, I mean, I guess you can get you can get battery caps for a hundred dollars less, two hundred dollars for a decent one. You're gonna spend two hundred dollars, get another battery. Um, my experience with them, um, I hooked one up in my Hyundai because my lights were dimming and the lights still dimmed. Uh, it could be because I didn't have the big three done. If you know what the big three does, uh, what the big three is, it probably helps to do it. I've never done one and. Honestly, I I really need to do it on things, but um, battery caps to me nothing special. I I got an Optima yellow top and replace my original battery with it. Clears all my problems up. Uh, everything went great. You can get those for like two hundred bucks at like anywhere, AutoZone, probably O'Reilly's, all them places. Um, you know, if you want to go better, you can get excess batteries, kinetic batteries, all that good stuff. But I don't really see them anywhere local. Uh, so I say go for the better battery and just replace your factory battery battery, or add it in your trunk and have two batteries running. But, hey, you know, not everybody has the money to do everything. So um, I'm going to show you how to hook up a battery cap. And honestly, it's very friggin' simple. Um, but, hey, I understand, you know, I, I was a beginner at car audio before. So here you go. Here's what you need. Four of these. If you already have a system running and you have all the wires running, this is what you need and what you need to do. You need four of these guys. Boom, ba doom. Not exactly like this, but you know what they are. They're ring terminals. They don't got to be special cool ones like this. These are actually stingers. I love stinger stuff. Um, they can be gold ones or, you know, cheaper ones, whatever. These were actually given to me by a couple cool guys. Then I got this cheap old battery cap. This might have been my problem. Maybe this is why I didn't like it. Because this is a cheap half a fair lightning cap. This thing, I probably couldn't even get 10 bucks out of this sucker. But I keep it around for the fun and for informational videos and things like that. But you got your plus. You got your negative, okay? Power wire. Already running through your car. You know how to run power wire. If you don't, watch my video on how to hook up car audio. Runs to your uh, from your battery back to your amp and you got your ground wire ground wire I know it's red it does not matter what color your wires are and honestly I couldn't I didn't feel like digging out a brown wire or black wire ground wire and your dog laying on your ground wire but uh, this would actually be uh, running from your amp to your ground in your trunk or you know, possibly from your battery to your amp if you got a, want a better solution. Anyway, check it out. Say you're back in your trunk. You're looking at your, your power wire and you're looking at your ground wire. All you got to do, splice this sucker in. You cut it, cut your power wire right here. Cut your ground wire right here. And splice these bad boys in it. In both of them, boom, boom, and you connect. Uh, so what you're gonna have is you're gonna have power wire hanging here. Oh, bam! Hook it on there. Um, these screws come out, and then you're gonna have your other side of your power wire. Boop, it's going to go right on there too. Right on top of each other. Right under this screw. Same thing for the ground. Splice it in. Cut. Connect uh, one side that you cut to that one. One side to this one. Put it underneath these screws. Do the same for the power in the ground. Don't be mixing, don't be mixing things up. Don't be putting your power on your ground side. You don't want to do that. 
I don't know what, what will happen. Maybe, I don't know, your battery cap might explode for all I know, but you just splice them in. And then your battery will feed into your battery cap, put some power in your battery, and then it's like a little reservoir for power, like a little power reservoir. Like I said, I'm not big on these guys. I think they're a waste of freaking money. And I will never buy one again. I've had this since I was very first started in the car audio over 10 years ago so this is an old feller but um, I tried it and I didn't see Jack done with it but you know whatever if you got one feel like using it now you know how to hook it up splice them in folks cut your ground cut your power you will have four pieces of wire then Boop. put your terminals on it Cut that wire, beep, into there. And your other side, beep, into there. Two terminals on here, two terminals on here. Power, ground. Zzz, battery feeds it, shh, and then this thing shh, sends out the power to your amplifier. <sighs> That's about as simple as I can make it, to be honest with you. I, I tried to think of any way simpler, because I like to do these how-to videos as simple as possible. For like if I was a brand new person to car audio and wanted to hook this up. Questions? I like answering them. Uh, comments? I like reading them. Thumbs up? Right on? Thumbs down? Yeah, you know. You'll have that. Have a good one. And good luck with your battery cap. But I still recommend just getting another battery. I forgot to add something very important in this. Very important. Note, unhook your battery and your amp before you do this. Don't have your battery hooked up. Don't have your ground hooked into your amp. You don't have to unhook your ground from your car. You could, to be safe. Uh, or you're going to be sparking. Because um, e e even if, if it's still hooked into the amp with the ground, it could be bad. Because your battery cap could have power in it. Unhook your battery, your normal battery, before you hook one of these battery caps up. You don't want sparks flying. You don't. You might still see a spark or two, but unhook things before you hook things. You know what I'm saying? Be smart about it. Oh, and thanks for watching, as always. And a Merry Christmas, because it's coming up. And my Christmas tree looks crazy. See ya.